Uh, today's topic is a very interesting topic that is uh, the American dream. And uh, definitely it is a matter of tremendous uh, satisfaction to make videos uh, for you for thy sake. Uh, so the first uh, thing that is uh, James Truslo Adams, you know, James Truslo Adams, uh, a freelance uh, writer. Hmm? He, he popularized uh, the phrase uh, American dream. Okay. In 1931 book, James Truslow Adams just made the circulation of this phrase uh, where the name of the book is Epic of America. So, American dream is a national ethos. National ethos, that means national character. American dream is the national character. Okay. So, set of ideals. What does it mean? American dream is actually a set of ideals uh, comprised of what? Liberty, equality, opportunity, rights, democracy and definitely all these things liberty, equality, opportunity, rights, democracy all these things promote what? Social mobility. Now, what does it mean social mobility that actually here refers to the upward movement of the economic level. Hmm? But social mobility may be upward or downward. But American dream, it actually promotes the upward social mobility. Clear? Now, attaining prosperity and success for the family members, including children. So, Attaining prosperity and success for the family members, uh, including children. So, dream is there. Attaining success, attaining prosperity, attaining happiness for the family members as well as definitely the children, generation. Okay. So, hard work, pursuit of happiness, the root, the main thing. Okay, of this American dream is hard work, pursuit of happiness. So happiness will come when one will do one's best work. And that is why hard work, there is a special priority in American dream. So hard work plays a vital role for fulfilling, for fulfilling the American dream. Rooted in the declaration of independence, uh, all men are created equal. So declaration of independence, it conveys the message that all men are created equal. So men, that means people, hmm? men, women, everybody. So men and women, everybody created equal and US constitution promotes, uh, promotes what? US constitution, constitution promotes the blessings of liberty and prosperity. So there is the blessings of liberty as for example, statue of liberty, okay, represents what? Ultimate liberty for all. Okay, and pursuit of success, prosperity, attainment, development, improvement, etc. So, US Constitution promotes the blessing of liberty and prosperity. Individual progress, this American dream that also conveys the message of individual progress. So, if individual is progressing, then it will occur family progress and if family is progressing this will or it will occur what children's progress and if they are progressing it will create generation progress the generation that will be uh, that will progress and if generation is progressing that will make a nation progress so there we have found a set of or a chain of success clear now American dream 
promotes opportunity for one's children definitely it's very important uh, promotes opportunity for one's children it will always pay importance for the promotion of the children now the next generation should do better than the previous generation the next generation that will do something better than the previous one james truslow adams same person okay he conveys the message of what better richer and fuller life uh, for everyone better life richer life and fuller life for everyone conflict between spiritual happiness and material gain now everybody is working hard for happiness now the dimension that is changing or that has changed from spiritual quest or from spiritual happiness to the material gain and it gives rise to what it gives gives rise to consumerism and consumerism that actually gives rise to what gives rise to two sections one winners the other losers as for example if we consider the character of willy loman in death of a salesman we will find that the american dream that's not been fulfilled there and he represents as a loser from that perspective of american dream clear now conflict between spiritual and material gain hard work so people are doing hard work for fulfilling dream and dream that will create what that will bring happiness and happiness that will that will bring spiritual satisfaction so it is the ideal american dream so hard work fulfilling dream happiness spiritual satisfaction so this is actually the ideal or proper american dream okay spiritual satisfaction but it turns into consumerism as i have already mentioned what happened then just to look at it it happens as hard work fulfilling greed so not fulfilling dream so dream is being fulfilled for the sake of pursuing the grits okay for the sake of material gain so fulfilling greed and greed that gives rise to that gives birth of consumerism clear so it gives birth of consumerism okay and consumerism it is comprised of winners and losers okay so this is the sad aspect of the american dream hmm? so american dream and literature american dream and literature so as for example autobiography of benjamin franklin thereafter mark twain's uh, adventures of huckleberry finn thereafter f scott fitzgerald's uh, the great gatsby thereafter tony morrison's uh, the song of solomon arthur miller's uh, death of a salesman very important willy loman yes and other writers uh, such as edward alvey john steinberg and langston hughes they are also they are also pretty much uh, influenced by the american dream thank you very much all my dear students uh, and uh, dear viewers uh, keep watching thank you